Hey, it's Ro here in Asheville, North Carolina. Hey, it's Ash Davis, and I am in New Jersey. Hey, everybody, this is Christian in Ohio. Go Bucks! Hey, y'all, it's Deanna just outside of Salt Lake City, Utah. Hey, everybody, I'm excited to have a quick run through today on what this is all about. All of our niches are powered by cash CPO. Our funding partners have been purchasing thousands of homes since 2017. So what we do first, number one, we purchase the house. The seller gets up to 70% upfront. Just sounds like a average everyday cash offer, right? But wait, there's more. You get to close in 14 to 90 days as the seller's choice. The buyer's agent gets paid at the second close and they choose the commission on both sides. It's stage one and stage two. We can go more into that. And then stage two, we go in and we improve the house. We do the HGTV magic on it. And then the agent gets the CPO listing. And then we sell the home and the seller gets a second check. That's where there's weight, there's more comes in. We net 90 to 120% of a traditional listing without the showings, nothing to fix up. Seller can make a non-contingent offer on the new home and move on, whatever those reasons are. And the listing agent sets their own choice of commission. For example, 6% listing split between the buyer agent and the listing agent. But remember, as the agent working for the funding partner, you also get paid your choice on the way in. Let's hand over to Deanna Allen, who managed a senior community for 14 years. And before she starts, I want to say that most agents have 30 communities within 30 minutes drive or more. Over to you, Deanna. Thank you, Ro. Yeah, that's so true. Uh, you know, out, out in my direction with that about a 30 minute drive, we've got about 42 communities in my small little area just out, outside of Salt Lake City. So so if you're worried about that at all, don't worry. The communities are out there. The need is great to be able to help these seniors transition to these assisted living communities. So a couple of fun facts that we wanted to share. Communities have an average of about 39 apartments or units in their community. Those can range from assisted living, memory care, and, and also independent living as well. Uh, those communities typically have wait times between six months to all the way to eight years, if you can believe it or not. So what we're seeing is that seniors are, are staying in their homes longer uh, to try to, to maintain being on that wait list, right? They're having, they're having to stay there. They can't make two moves, right? Um, but once they are able to move and make that transition, they're able to stay in a community for an average of 29 months. The advantages that they get with this transition from our side is that it can be a really stressful process for this, this senior moving into the community, right? They've got a lot of things that they have to do. Uh, in order to sell a house traditionally, you have to go through showings, you have to go through repairs. They've got cute little dogs that they have to take care of and let out to go potty 500 times a day, right? It's, it's a yeah, lot let's to throw do. Yeah, let's throw Christian on that one. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's true. I mean, when you look at the homes, we've all, you know, we've all got seniors in our life and Deanne is absolutely right. You know, a lot of times the good thing is their, their home doesn't need a whole lot of work and they definitely can embrace the idea of not having to deal with the showings and, and the fixing up what little things need to be done and all the all the stuff that is involved in making that type of transition into their new community. And real and Christian, kind of to go with that, one of the things I've found is that just the uncertainty of what's going on in their lives at that point, with you know, a lot of the, the children of, of the seniors that need to move into a community are adults with busy lives and sometimes with their own children now, right? So they don't have time to go through the traditional listing process to get the home ready. So the service that we provide is, is we're able to come in, we're able to help ease that burden and take that stress off them so they can move not only faster, but way more efficiently. Yep, without a doubt. What's the average age, Deanna, of people coming into a community? It's about 82 years old right now. Wow. So their kids are going to be on average in their 60s? Exactly. So some of them are great grandparents at this point. Oh, my gosh. And Deanna, tell us about the numbers that, I mean, you know, you managed a, a, a facility for a community for 14 years. 
um, on, on behalf of the facilities, what that looks like for a community, money savings and how it helps uh, a community by, uh, by use, utilizing this program. Yeah, absolutely. So one thing that I can say being a former community manager is that if I had access to this back then, I just think of what I could have done for my residents moving in and their families to help make that transition smoother and a more, um, you know, pleasing experience, taking really taking that stress away. But when you're talking to the community, of course, they want to, you know, look at it and see what's what's in it for them. Of course, they want to help make things easier for their residents moving in and the families as well. But honestly, the way that we can help with that is we can streamline those move-ins uh, because we're able to help that potential resident get access to their home equity within two weeks, which allows them to move into the community sooner. That's a huge selling point for the community. They often have people on wait lists who, when they call them, they're saying, hey, like, yeah, the apartment's ready, but so-and-so is not, you know, they haven't sold their house yet. It takes time. The advantage is that we can get that done for them in two weeks and they can move into the community and enjoy these wonderful activities that they have in the dining experience. But it also boosts their bottom line. When, when we're able to help, let's say, one person a month in a community move in with this process and program, that can add an additional million dollars of revenue to their length of stay when they're staying for that 29-month average. You know, yeah. all of this combined with a stress-free stress -free transition really just helps enhance that experience for the community and for the resident. That's amazing. And I just want you to know, this is real stuff. Look, we've got a shop and you get T-shirts. And when you launch in your state or your area, you get a press release. And everybody finds out what's going on. And that one's about you, Ash. About me. And look at the shiny postcards. Postcards. Plenty of postcards. And that one's got all your details on, right, Christian? Christian made it rain with all these postcards. Those are leave behinds when we go and visit the community. And Deanna, what you got for us? I have resources. We have this wonderful book here, uh, making us the trusted resource for senior living CPO, which is an amazing tool to take in when you go to speak with your managers. And we have a flyer, two-sided, uh, with advantages for the community and advantages for the senior that's coming to see the community. Love it. So Ashley and Christian, what's it like to actually get out into the communities? Is that a difficult appointment? Actually, no, uh, not at all. It might very well be one of the easiest things you'll do as a, as a real estate agent. Um, as a matter of fact, when I embarked on it, uh, it was so easy. As it says there, uh, you go to a website of a community in your area. Generally, there's a book tour or take tour button. Uh, one night when I decided to jump in here, I did that 10 times. I woke up the next day and before the end, you know, before the end uh, by dinner, I already had uh, eight bookings to go visit. It, it was the easiest thing. And everybody is uh, all the managers there are super inviting. Uh, and, and again, I cannot stress how simple it is. And Ash, you tell me, I mean, I assume your experience was similar. Very, very similar. I, I took uh, I took your lead. I did some online. I made quite a few phone calls. And what I found is everybody is so open. I mean, their whole job is to introduce their community uh, to the larger community and make sure people know what they are, what their services are. And so when you go in, they see you as a partner, right? They, they don't really see you as you're walking in to try to upsell them on your cell service or sell them new copiers. They see you as a trusted partner that will help them bring in residents into their community. And it's just been so welcoming, so inviting. I've had follow-up meetings. I've had people call me and ask me about their own personal residences and their parents' residence to give them advice about their real estate transactions. So it's really, you don't, if you, if you approach it as selling something, then you might get a different vibe from them. But I approach it, and Christian, I know you're the same way. You approach it as if you're partnering with them, and I think that's invaluable. Yep, without a doubt. And I know, Ashley, you're helping a 98-year-old right now, Josephine. Can you give us like the 30-second high-level overview of that one? Absolutely, yeah. One of the clients, one of the referrals I got from uh, an early uh, community that I visited was a 98-year-old who was living in a condo, uh, needed to probably move somewhere, but their family wasn't quite sure what to do, how to time the move out and the move in, and where to get some of the funding from. So 
Um, we have a follow-up meeting this afternoon and uh, they're super excited about the opportunity. We're gonna check out the condo. We're gonna see what needs to be done and finalize the offer. So uh, it's very exciting. And, and her, her son, who is probably in his mid to late sixties was just in a quandary and didn't quite know what to do. And this was his alternative. And, 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 and I'm very fortunate to be able to put this in front of them and keep them from doing a reverse mortgage, which was gonna be an, one of the things they looked at. So we're coming out of pocket with their own money. So this is a great opportunity for them. It speeds the process along more than anything. And, and Deanna talked about that earlier. The sooner you can get them in, your parents or their parents into a community, uh, the better their life's going to be. And you're probably going to extend their life a little bit. That's amazing. And Christian, talk a little bit about the networking opportunities that I know all of you are getting once you go and meet with a community. Oh, for sure. Yeah, that was a uh, that was a, a nice hidden surprise that it wasn't expecting because at first you're thinking I need to connect with, you know, just the sales manager or the client relations manager or whatnot. And you got to do that 15, 20 times. Well, I kind of got stopped in my tracks because I got invited to a networking event. And at that networking event, uh, not only were, were there managers from other communities, there were the higher ups that managed the entire uh, corporation of communities, um, those that help seniors move out of their home. There was uh, uh, organizations that helped set up their new home. So you're making all these other, it's almost like that one connection actually was 12, you know? So I find my, I found myself not visiting many more facilities and instead just cultivating all these relationships. And then they introduce you to others and others and others. And it uh, it's hard to believe that that one book a tour button, right? led to like 12 relationships in the, in, in the uh, industry and, and in these communities. And Christian, yes. I, think, I think what we're finding is it's great cultivating, cultivating these relationships, but we need more agents to help expand this product around mm -hmm. our respective states. So I got a lead the other day, it was three hours away. I mean, it's not realistic for me to drive three hours in my own state for a listing and then uh, rehab that home and resell it. So the, we need agents on board to help us move this product and put it in front of seniors and really help change their lives. Yep. I love that. And I know as well, Ash, you had a, a, a similar opportunity with one of the first communities you went to visit. Didn't they have something like 40 other communities that they managed? They do. So she uh, a lot of what you'll find in a lot of these communities is they have an internal sales and marketing person who deals with the families. But you also have an external sales and marketing person that's really tasked with getting out in the community, finding partners, educating the larger community about what they do in their uh, senior living community. And she, the, the person I met with actually oversees 42 of them uh, or in some capacity is involved with 42 of them. And we're actually having coffee this Friday. I, I just texted her while we we're recording this action. She got back to me and said, let's have coffee on Friday. So those type of relationships uh, that they can then spread, I don't have to go meet the other 42. Some of them aren't in my state, but I can utilize this contact and she can put me in touch with them. And then when I bring on other agents, I've already got a pipeline for those agents when they come on board of communities that they can go talk to. Wow. And this is to all of you. So I know as a real estate agent, there are lots of programs out there. And the reason that I founded Cash CPO and then this, this niche, which is assisted living, which is so dear to my heart, is it's exclusive to zip code. And I didn't want this to be Rose little program in my little town. We have all of these materials that we just kicked off with here. We have a great website. We have lots of training materials for agents because we want agents to be at the highest level. We've got a massive map of assisted living facilities. We actually gather some information when we go into the community to make sure we know who they are and what they are. So we're going to have the biggest map in the country around that. We wrote the book on it. We've got postcards and flyers and all kinds of other things, podcasts. We have a radio show every week. Would you say that supported you in terms of the credibility of the program when you go in and visit a community? Oh, without a doubt. I mean, the support, uh, I would say the support and the accountability is always nice. Anything you do, 
it's kind of uh, very similar to I've been working out with my personal trainer for 17 years, you know, and him and I are so deep into this that he's like, why do you even bother to come? Because if I didn't have that accountability and that support, I wouldn't get the same results. So even things like our group calls, you know, and, and, and our Facebook group and things that we do that really kind of make you excited for the week to share what you accomplished and then learn from others. So uh, without a doubt, uh, it's a lot easier to do this with the support and uh, the tools and the resources we have rather than try to fly it alone. Absolutely. And I, I would echo that. I, I'm, you know, I've been a realtor for 12, 13 years. I'm licensed in three states. In, in addition to New Jersey, I'm licensed in North and South Carolina. And this program has gotten me more excited about real estate than I think I've ever been. And the resources, the camaraderie, and to Rose point, I mean, we all have our own zip code. So there's no cover my back. I don't want to let them get this lead. It might not, you know, I, I don't want to lose money. You get a lot of that. And with this, it's really about helping one another. And then you add in someone like Deanna who has industry knowledge and industry uh, expertise in the senior living industry. And you just really, you get to have these uh, questions answered. So you go in and you're informed and you're, and you're learning every day. It's just, it's super exciting. It's the best program in 12, 13 years of real estate I've been involved. Wow. Did you get uh, paid to say that? I'm not. But Deanna, Deanna paid him. Deanna, Deanna paid him. <laughs> my son was a Carolina Panther fan. Uh, yeah. so. uh, if I might highlight on what, what Ash said earlier about being uh, really a community partner, and that's the term that we put in the flyer as well, and how important that is. Because as a former marketing manager, I wouldn't dare uh, give my potential residents or their families any information on a program or a resource in my toolbox if I didn't completely have 100% faith that it was a true thing. You know, um, you have to you have to believe in what you're you're sharing with these families. They're coming to you at a very vital point in their life. It's a very very difficult decision to make. So if if the community manager can offer a resource like the one that we can provide and know 100% that it is going to enhance their quality of life and help them make a sound decision, that makes it easier for everyone. I love that, Deanna. And that comes back to where we offer so much coaching and training. We have a, a free group call every week. Uh, we have all kinds of training online that's evergreen. We have the private Facebook group. Thank you for mentioning that Christian and Ash, um, where you can ask questions and people will jump in all the time. We had a new lady start uh, last week and she said, help, I need help on this little piece. And within minutes, Ashley was there saying, give me a call, I'll help you. And to his point of, we're all protected by zip codes. And um, yeah, no, so so thank you for that. That's awesome. And you know, you're not going in as a real estate agent. You're going in as a senior living CPO expert and communities understand that. Here's the teams we've got so far. And by the time you're watching, uh, we'll be covering up the map. That represents over a thousand agents, by the way. So I'm going to rapid fire through this. Feel free to pause and delve in. We build a list for you of all the different facilities in your zip code. By the time you've got about five zip codes, and of course it depends on where you are, you're going to have about 30 facilities. What does it look like when you get the net sheet? The net sheet looks like this. So you get a conventional sale where you're looking at $280,000 in this example. Obviously, this is a, a lower priced home. And not, not for some of you, obviously, it depends on what your average price point are, but they all work the same. So you've got a conventional sale with a net sheet coming out at 280,000. You've got the funding partner's net sheet coming out at 300,000. So this one actually nets you more than a conventional listing and obviously nets you way more than the average cash offer. Now, of course, we'll go into a lot more of this. You get this net sheet with every offer that you put in and it's very, very simple to put them in. It takes you about three minutes. So what does that look like in terms of cost? Because you must be thinking this costs thousands of dollars. There's no referral fees. You can get in from $25 a month. There's a $175 setup fee. We suggest that you start with the 10-zip package, which is $75 a month, but it's up to you. 
For the first 12 in every niche, we've got the, the uh, entire state opportunity, which is what Ash and Christian, who you've heard from today, did. For $700 a month, covers the entire state. Um, the state ever level earns 0.25% of the deals from the funding partner. That's not from the agent share. So there's three pathways in this. You can be a field agent, and these are all based on a $400,000 price point. That's going to average around nine, $960,000 in commissions. So, you know, if you're only very average at this and, and you're only doing half of that, that's only um, half of the nine hundred and sixty at the four hundred thousand dollar price point. We've got Cana we've got um, uh, California teams doing much more than that. What are the expectations that you visit six communities in your first thirty days? It's a use it or lose it. We're not about um, we are about protecting your zip codes. We're not about making the, the most of our money from zip codes. So if you're not using them, we'll we'll ask you to move on and let somebody else give this opportunity to the seniors. You can be a regional coach and coach field agents an hour a week on Zoom. And at that price point, you're looking at about $125,000. You can help us bring on more agents into the program. And at that point, at the $400,000 price point, you're looking about $600,000 because we're looking to build 30 agents in your state. And if you think about it, 30 agents in your state to run this program is not very many, especially when you think it's all about a great flow of listing leads and you get paid twice on every unit. So what are the costs and earnings? I'll let you pause on this and you can ask questions about it. Um, I'll go through it very quickly. There's no referral fees. There is a setup fee of 175. You can own the state level for the first 12 in every niche. We've got six niches. This is the one we launched with in senior living. It's $700 a month. 10 zips is $75 a month. Use of the program for FISBO and expired. That's when you call expired and say, my buyer, Mr. Bin, would like to purchase your home at $765,000. Can you meet me on Friday? And you take in the listing presentation that we give to you, by the way. You can just plop your zip code on and you're presenting a conventional listing, a CPO listing. You'll get training in all of this and a cash CPO listing. So chances are you'll come out with a listing and your hit rate on expired is 74% hit rate. Call to expireds. You've got a listing appointment, guys. If you call a FISBO, you've got a 94% hit rate. It's amazing. And all kinds of other things that you get through this program. Uh, time expectations when you're regional and state, it's an hour a week on Zoom. If you're in the field, it's probably going to take you two days because you're going out, meeting the facilities in the first place. Then we expect you to call them at least once a month. Those of you that go deeper, obviously, are going to get more referrals. And then you're going to be doing the listings. So I'd expect you to be doing one or two or three listings a week from the referral from these facilities. Income streams, we just went over those. So what do you get from this? What's your advantage of being in the program? You get coaching. You get a private Facebook group. You get career opportunities with other niches. Mentorship from chief coaches. Exclusive zips to you. A shop for goodies. We showed you all our goodies earlier. And the use of the book. We wrote the book on. An exit plan from real estate, at least in the field, should you want it. So that's it, guys, in terms of your advantages of being with the program. So, guys, did I miss anything? You know, guys, if you don't mind, I'll jump in first. Uh, you know, I think what I've found, Ro, most refreshing about this, this opportunity is as a realtor, we all know this, your email, your phone, your text, your DMs on Instagram all get hit every day with marketing opportunities. And whether it's, you know, buying this list or doing these videos or buying these videos, all of these things, they add up. And quite frankly, most of them don't work, right? But this is really an opportunity that I found in my 12, 13 years in real estate where I'm investing in myself and there is true benefit not just to myself, but to my potential clients and also these communities. And so it's real. I love it. I'm so excited about it. And I hope you guys can join us. Yeah. And to uh, somewhat, I guess, echo Ash, Ash's uh, sentiment here. Um, one of the things that I encourage all the agents I speak to uh, that are considering coming on board with us, what I encourage them to, to keep in mind is that as an agent, your number one objective is creating relationships in your circle or within your community, you know, in your network, in your market, right? Well, 
the downside of that is you're competing with, you know what, hundreds, if not thousands of other agents in that exact same market, right? And so you're gonna have to really muscle your way through. The great thing about senior living CPO is that you're not competing with anybody. You're gonna be doing the same things you were without the competition and with this wonderful service and product in your hand, you know, to be able to facilitate, you know, with this win, 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 right? Where the community wins because they get the senior, the senior wins because they don't have to deal with all the hassles. And obviously you win as an agent as well. So do keep that in mind. When we talk about doing this, we're just talking about doing what you're already doing as an agent with less competition and a service and a product that nobody else has. Absolutely. And I, I would just mimic that if you are looking to really expand your, your business exponentially, but also have a meaningful impact in, in the services that these communities provide, these places have nothing but heart. And it's a very rewarding field to be in. So, you know, the fact that we can revolutionize how seniors transition to those communities is, is an amazing thing to be a part of. Well, thank you. I mean, you, you guys give me goosebumps, honestly. It's it's such a wonderful opportunity to give back as an agent. And I want to bring us back to our guiding question that we use for everything we're doing in this business. And that's how do we get this opportunity in the hands of as many, of as many seniors as quickly as we can? Because Deanna, you shared with me that four month period um, that we're saving them from the time and energy that they have to put into selling their house normally, you know, three, four months, sometimes even longer when they get the call finally when they're on the wait list. This is a way where they can get the majority of their equity in 14 days and release enough money to make everybody feel much more comfortable, get them out and into their uh, community and start enjoying life again and get them settled for that remaining 24 to 29 months now because we've saved them some of those months on average that they're going to spend there. So, you know, that's a, a really uh, heartwarming thought. I think if we can just take some of that brutality of listing your home away, what do you think, guys? Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Let's go for it. Come join us and let's roll this out, guys. Let's go. Senior living. CPO. Dot com.